and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all well. I'm very excited to be sharing this video with you today. It's going to be a kind of start to finish, get ready with me, including an amazing espresso martini cocktail. So if you love martini cocktails as much as I do, then you can subscribe to the Grey Goose channel um, where there's lots more content over there. But I'm going to be showing you today in partnership with Grey Goose, how to make the best espresso martini cocktail. So I'm going to start with the key ingredient, which is the Grey Goose Vodka. This is made to elevate any drink on any occasion um, so that you can drink it with style. And I feel like particularly for a Valentine's get ready with me date night, we want something refined and stylish and the Grey Goose Vodka is certainly that drink. So for the classic espresso martini cocktail, which I'm going to prepare to enjoy before we go out for our Valentine's date night, um, I've got Tim in the background ready to assist me with the cocktail making. Um, so all the ingredients will be linked on the screen. So I've got them all lined up here, ready to go. And the beauty of this is that it is so easy to make and you end up with a really stylish drink. So just gonna begin by measuring all the ingredients out and popping them into my cocktail shaker. So I'm just gonna finish off with a pinch of salt. Now I'm gonna get my glamorous assistant to come and help me with the cocktail shaking. Are you ready to do the honors? Yes, I am. There you go. I think what I love about this is that it kind of feels quite ceremonious to actually be making the cocktail itself. It's a whole experience from start to finish, from a kind of getting it set up to drinking it. It just feels so indulgent and luxurious. So what I'm gonna do now is reverse a little bit, rewind and show you how I got ready um, and how I kind of tailored my outfit to suit the mood we were going for this evening. And he's in. Okay, so let's start by slapping some makeup on this face. Um, try and get me date night ready. I usually like to go for kind of bold eye and softer lip. Nothing too out there. I like to feel quite like myself. So that's the kind of look I'm going to be creating today. A bit of a kind of smoky eye feel. I'm gonna start with some primer. I like to put my primer all over because I have quite veiny eyelids actually. So I like to kind of put a bit of concealer on them so that the shadow goes on a bit better. So then, concealer is next. I'm just gonna pop that under the eye. A bit around the nose, a bit on the center of my nose, and just a bit on my eyelids too. Then blend. I always like to pop my hair back first as well, just so it doesn't get mixed up in any foundation, um, which I'm going to go in with next. This is just a lightweight, serum-y kind of foundation. Again, I don't like to go for anything too thick and heavy. I want to feel like myself and to let my skin breathe. So I'm just gonna take this down the neck, blend it out. So let's just set that in with a little bit of powder. I like to do just kind of around the T-zone. Do you get quite an oily nose? So going in with a bit of powder helps to set that really nicely. Also think I need to warm the face up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in with some bronzer and really take my time to blend and work this in because as I say, we want quite a natural, effortless look. 
So I actually often like to do my lips before I do my eyes and I also tend to do my eyebrows before I do my eye makeup as well. I just feel like it kind of frames the face quite nicely. So I'm going to go in with a bit of a pinky um, soft lip so I can go bolder on the eyes. This is like my kind of go-to nudie pink. And I just like to kind of take that right into the lip as well. Do a little blend. Now to add the color. And this is a lip stain, so um, it really lasts. Then I'm gonna pop a bit of a shimmery glow over the top. Okay, so next we'll move on to brows and just kind of brush them out a little bit. I like to brush them up but not too much. And I really think they help to frame the face. them out a bit now and I'll just do the other side to match before we start on the eye so we are almost there but we need to do the eyes uh, because they're looking quite bare at the moment so what I really like to do when I'm doing my eyes just it's so easy I just get a big fluffy brush and then kind of rub in the shadow near enough all over the eyes and then I can go in and then blend it out so I'm gonna go in with quite a dark kind of chocolatey shade and I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. Not being too neat with it because we can go in and finish that off later. And I don't know about you, but I like to match my makeup, outfit, hair to the mood of, kind of where I'm going, what I'm doing. And I feel like this makeup look really complements the espresso martini cocktail. Um, with it being quite a bold but elegant look and I feel like you know summarizes an espresso martini cocktail so just keep going with that building it up a little bit blending it in as much as possible I'm gonna do the same on the other side before we kind of blend everything together love this kind of brown smoky shade I feel like this sort of <laughs> unintentionally matches the color of an espresso martini cocktail. And before we blend out, I'm just going to take some of the same shade and pop it underneath, all along the lash line to create a nice smoky effect. And this look is just so easy to recreate as well for your own Valentine's date night look. And now we need to do a lot of blending. So uh, bear with me whilst I go in and do this. So for the most part, I'm kind of okay with that blending. And what I'm going to do now is go in with a dark brown shadow stick and just kind of intensify the lash line there um, and then smudge that out. This is tricky tricky to do on camera. You might tempt it. So it's a little bit messy but we're going to blend that right out. Add some mascara now we've done that. Just curl my lashes and add on a black mascara. So I feel like we're getting somewhere. I'm just going to finish off by putting um, a little bit of the same brown eyeshadow stick just in the waterline to give it a little bit of intensity. Okay, so makeup is done. Let's go on to hair. So like I said, I'm kind of reflecting the mood of the evening and of the cocktails we're making. So I want my hair to kind of reflect that 
bold but elegant look that we're going for. So um, I think I'm going to do a kind of subtle wave in it, but then just kind of brush it behind my ears like I am doing now. So let's get doing that. When I'm actually curling my hair, I tend not to segment it off, especially if I want a bit more of a kind of relaxed feel. Um, I just go straight in. I don't kind of partition it unless I want more of a kind of waved look. So this is actually, I've just washed my hair. So it's still a little bit damp. This is how it dries naturally, just very, very straight. So I think just want a really kind of subtle little wave in there. Save the front pieces to last. So I'm gonna get on with the rest of my hair and I'll see you again in a second when it's all done. Okay, so this is my just curled look. I've given it hairspray, left it to set for a couple of minutes and now I'm just gonna kind of comb it out a bit because it's, it's a bit too voluminous for what I want. So I'm just gonna comb that out and give it a bit more of a, it's kind of a, more of a subtle wave to it now. And then I'm going to just tuck it behind my ears and that kind of, these bits will soften out a bit as well. So you can see that's what it looks like from the side. And then what I like to do is just for these kind of any flyaways at the top, just go in with a clear eyebrow gel. I find that that works better for these little flyaways to kind of set it all in place. I'll probably give it a quick hairspray and then we can go and choose our outfit. So before every date night, whilst I'm getting ready, I like to start off in something really comfortable. Um, and then what I tend to do is get everything I kind of want to wear and I'm thinking about wearing onto the rail so I can see it in front of me and it just makes getting dressed so much easier. So if you have maybe a separate space in your wardrobe, you could even pop things on the bed or if you do have a separate rail, I think they're just so handy, so affordable as well. Um, so you could just get one of those and then pop all your things on so you can see everything clearly. I kind of know what I'm gonna wear, but I just wanted to show you this step because I think it's such a useful one um, when you're getting ready because sometimes you can go into your wardrobe and feel so overwhelmed by everything and then get a bit distracted, end up getting really stressed out, then your makeup's kind of running, and your hair gets all messed up, throwing things around, trying things on. So this is just a nice, easy and calm way to get ready. So as I say, I want to match the feel of the evening and match it to my cocktail. So something a little bit bold, but very, very chic and sophisticated. I'm personally a coffee lover. I think that's why I gravitate towards the espresso martini cocktail. Um, but I'd love to know your favorite martini cocktail in the comments below. Um, let me know, is it a classic or is it a cosmopolitan or are you the same as me? just an espresso martini cocktail girl through and through. I just feel like I love the elegance of them, particularly when I'm getting ready to go out. So as we're talking about that kind of mood and feel, um, I really want to go for this leather piece. For me, I mean, I talk so much about this, but um, because I love those basic classic pieces, um, I often gravitate towards textures to bring the interest to my look. Um, and I think leather in the evening, I love leather in the daytime as well, but leather in the evening just looks so chic, but also provides a little bit of an edge. So I'm gonna go with this midi skirt. I love that it just feels so elegant. Um, it's not too try hard. I don't like wearing really tight clingy things um, on a date night or in the evening. So um, to go for something that's really elegant like this, is a great piece. And then I'm kind of torn on my top. So what I might do is match it with a bodysuit like this. So we've got the contrast of the longer midi skirt with the tighter bodysuit. Or I'm thinking a long sleeve silk shirt. And again, that silkiness just really um, lends itself to a date night. To my evening with my espresso martini, it's smooth and silky like the drink. So I feel like this would fit really nicely. So. I'll probably try them both on um, and then you can see what they both look like. Shoes wise, I'm thinking maybe these leopard prints. Um, I love this kind of brown and it just brings something to 
the all black look. So something sleek and sophisticated like this always goes down so well. Right, let me go and try this first look on. Ta-da! So this is my first look. Um, as I say, absolutely love the leather. It feels so chic and sophisticated. And these um, leopard print heels just feel like they go really nicely with it. The only thing I think I will change is the bodysuit. Although I think it really goes with this outfit. It feels a little bit more spring-like and obviously Valentine's Day is in February. So um, I feel like I need maybe a bit of a sleeve. And I'm going to go for the silk shirt instead. Yeah, so I think this is definitely a better look. Um, and I do feel like the longer sleeves help to balance out the skirt a little bit. Although I did think the bodysuit really um, went quite well with this look. But I think for this time of year, a bit of a sleeve is quite a nice addition. I think I might swap my earrings for some chunkier ones though. I'm gonna head downstairs, grab my grey goose, grab my date for the night, and then I can make my espresso martini cocktail. So let's go. Okay, so now we've got one each. We can begin our Valentine's date night. Cheers. Cheers. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little Get ready with me. I'm showing our usual rituals of what we do before we go out for a date night. It's all about an espresso martini cocktail, of course, with the Grey Goose. If you want to get any more martini cocktail inspirations, I have a playlist linked here for you, or I have an image you can click on which allows you to buy the GG Alessis kit. So thanks so much for watching from us. We're gonna enjoy our date night now and enjoy our cocktails. See you in the next video. See you in the next one. Bye.